do now is we're just going to just pencil a line on the bottom of all the legs and saw them off so they're straight. So the block lets me get an even line all the way across the leg and ensures that it's the same height on all four legs because we're going to use the same block each time. What Ian's going to do now is he's going to saw off where we marked out earlier. Um, we've put the bench on its side on top of some saw horses to try and get the best angle for sawing. Occasionally, just to make sure that he's meeting the line all the way around. Just planing the edges off to make it look neat. Okay, so what Ian's going to do now is he's going to chop the top of the legs off just so the top of the shape falls in nice and flat. And we're going to go right ahead and do that on all four legs. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to fix everything together. So the first thing we're going to do is bolt the pivot part onto the bed. Okay, so the next step is to put the treadle onto the main frame. Ian's going to bolt one half together first push it through and then bolt the other side on. Okay, so now we've made the shave horse, I'm going to have a go at making things and improving my green woodworking skills. So looking to make things like gypsy roses and household items such as spatulas. I also want to have a go at making things like this fence, which I made on a course along with some other people. The uprights and the frame were made on a shave horse, so having a go at things like that. 